we're standing on the site of the uh, lower 575 breach. Uh, we also visited today the upper 575 breach, uh, vicinity of Percival, and the uh, middle 575 breach, which was the original breach. So what we have here is the final piece of this levee being uh, closed back up. The critical date for us was the 1st of March. That's typically when we could begin seeing high uh, high runoff from a plain snow, but it also is an important date to our sponsors because the uh, insurance rates will be set in that time frame. So having this closed back up will allow their crop insurance, uh, they'll be in a much better position for that. Well, getting the breaches closed has been a major priority for responsible river management from day one. Without getting these breaches closed, uh, absolutely nothing can move forward. No commerce or getting our getting back in our houses uh, getting our lifestyle back uh, going on moving forward it all starts with getting the levees back levy 575 we had uh, three three breaches uh, complete breaches this is the uh, lower one this will be complete the construction today's uh, Saturday the 25th of February and it will be complete in three days and this is the last one that will be buttoned up so we will consider ourselves to have uh, all the critical sections closed in preparation for the uh, spring runoff season. There's uh, been tremendous progress uh, since Congress appropriated uh, the money the uh, 23rd of December and uh, Omaha District working with uh, the contracting team and uh, the local sponsors have uh, really made some tremendous progress. A lot of good cooperation, uh, land acquisition, realignments of levees and then just the the physical uh, effort. You know, I, I can't say enough about the, the sponsors and the folks we're working with. Yeah, you know, we, we have some some excellent tools. We're working with a, a great contractor out here, Weston, under our SDIC contract. Weston has done an excellent job. As you can see, they've hired a lot of local equipment. There's even local farmers running some of this equipment, uh, hauling hauling materials with their tractors. So it's it's been a team effort. The people that are going to live behind this levee and the folks that are farming behind this levees are really invested in in doing this work correctly. We've got a lot of work to do and uh, just talking to these guys on the ground, uh, you know, uh, plugging the breaches is just one step in a much longer process. We've got a lot of erosion to deal with, we've got to plant uh, seed on these levees, get some grass growing on them. I mean there's, there's many uh, more steps that need to be taken and of course uh, uh, over time we'll, we'll uh, take those steps and continue to improve the situation. We got lots of work to do up on the dams and the upper basin as well. So between the levees and, and the dam work and, and some of the other work that has to be done in the river on, you know, looking at some of the navigation structures, we stood up what we're calling the Omaha Systems Restoration Team. And we brought us, you know, all the program managers, project managers into, into one section. You know, this is really a $500 million effort overall up and down the river. And that, that's a large program for, for any organization to run. So we brought in the right overhead to make sure that, you know, that all the things are sequenced correctly and, and that we don't miss anything at all. Well, we just appreciate everything the Corps of Engineers have done. Have an opportunity to work with them on these projects and, uh, Having them listen to our concerns, they've been very receptive to our concerns and uh, taken it to heart and uh, have reached out to us just as we've reached out to them. So it's worked out well. I, what I like to say is when we're resourced, we meet our deadlines. And, you know, we sat down with the people in the basin. We sat down with responsible river management and, and the sponsors. And we, we put this March uh, 1st mark on the calendar. And working with them, we've met it. 